Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Summer is over and winter is coming, so I need a lot of firewood. And here I have my uh, trusty Fiskars axe. And uh, my reasoning to buy this was that it's pretty large. It was the second largest on the store. And the larger the better, of course. But the like, uh, logs that I'm splitting are quite small. I don't have any large trees to cut down. So the like wood splitting process, the axe is like total overkill. You don't need this large axe. But to get this in like four clumps, you need to hit it four times. And this is like a lot of work. So I made this. Check out! <laughs> One swing does the job of three swings because of the four blades. And uh, yeah, I think you wanna know how you can get your own. They don't sell these, you have to make it. So here it comes how it's done. Okay, and after that, the question of course is, will it work? It's, uh, it's quite heavy, it's much heavier than the large fiskars that I had. And I assume that there's a lot of friction. Friction because it has to move and like stretch the wood quite much. So I think we are going to just swing it and hope for the best. I'm going to set up also my high speed camera so we can see in great detail how it works or doesn't work. Okay, here we go. End of the summer means also end of the light here in Finland. So it's a bit tricky to film with the high speed, but I, can, I think we got a decent picture. And now we need a decent hit. And this is completely different than a regular axe. Seems that it's going to First it here and then this is going to be the last thing to go in. Yeah, and this is not going to be probably good on the first try because you have to learn the new tool. But I'm going to show even the failures. And I assume that you have to hit pretty hard, so I'm going to go go pretty hard. Okay, that was pretty, pretty decent. Uh, it almost worked. I think I, I have to just get more angry and hit harder. That's the trick. But first, let's have a look on the high speed. 
Okay, here it goes. That was good hit. I just need to go a bit harder. That's the only change. Maybe also smaller, smaller thing. These have some knots to them. That makes it a bit harder. But so does the trees usually have. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. New try. Now I'm going to go like full full blast. The hit hit was pretty good on the good on the first try, so I don't need to be like so concentrated and like scared of the tool. It's it's going to go where I want. Okay. This didn't go any better. And one thing that I got warned when I did this, that is the fact that this is going to get so much stuck. But uh, that wasn't too bad. I think I try another part, that's probably a bit, bit hard. I want to get at least one good split. One good split out of this. I'm going to line the uh, knot so one goes here, one goes here and one goes there. So this should be possible. Okay, again have to go pretty goddamn hard. Yes! That's how you make some firewood. God damn, that's fast. Yeah, the uh, part was a bit soft, so the uh, uh, other side didn't go into f like four, like into two pieces. But uh, I think I'm learning this. I think I'm getting better at this. How about this one? I think lining the knots with this tool is the key to victory. So now I have one here and one here. So this is pretty good alignment. Yes! Yes! That was so good. Even the sun came out for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is so great. I can already recommend this tool to everybody. How about the high speed? I think that's as that is going to be as good as it gets. Yeah, this looks nice. This is this is the thing. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that This is going to increase your productivity by 300%. What other tool nowadays can create such a huge improvement? Oh Yeah, and even when it gets stuck like this, it's easy to get out. It's not any harder than regular axe. Yes. How about even smaller chunks? Yeah, that works also. I'm going to say that the tool has its limitations also, because these are not like huge clumps of wood by any means. And I think I'm like decent with the axe. So if you have any larger or more knots on your wood, going to be hard. And if you are not as strong as I am, going to be hard, even hard for me. But even if you have to take multiple hits on the, like, one lock, you don't have to reset it after each blow. So I'm going to say that it's faster to hit two times with this, rather than, like, hit it in half, put it back, hit it in half, put it in back, hit it in half. Because this is not hard at all to get out. Whew. I think I get a bit more wood, maybe even smaller and with uh, less knots. Cutting trees down is surprisingly hard work, but here we go. Now we have a bit smaller tree and it's a birch and I think there isn't much at all knots on this lower part of the tree. Yes, I don't want to save that, it wasn't nice 
as nice as it could be. That's cool, that's cool, that's, that's the keeper. Okay, it's like almost. I forgot to line this, there was the knot there. But now we're going to make like eight pieces. Yeah! Okay, almost lost the camera leg there. Yeah, sometimes it tends to like turn sideways. That's not optimal. I have one more. Yeah, so uh, will I keep using this for like actual work, making firewood? Probably not for the first swing. I think it's good to hit once with the fiskars and then the sides of that into four pieces with this. And then you get really nice small wood for the sauna. There I want to burn a little bit smaller because I don't want to like wait half a day to it get warm. So this is totally like suitable tool and I'm going to keep using this. Probably uh, dangerous as hell, but uh, I think I can take care of myself. But uh, probably not maybe the best idea to make your own axe if you are not like experienced on like swinging an axe or using tools. This is not the first axe that you, <laughs> you should probably get. This is the good last axe maybe to finish up your collection. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.